I think the new level one's really about trying to meet the needs of children, so we've looked at what are the right activities to give the kids um, to make sure that they really enjoy rugby league um, and they gain in their confidence and want to continue to participate. It's really going to improve things at a grassroots level and keep some of these youngsters who, who try rugby league at an early age within the game, isn't it? Yeah, I think the key thing is that all sports are underpinned by the same movement skills, but the environment that we can provide in rugby league means the kids will come to us, they'll get all of those sporting skills, but they'll enjoy rugby league and they'll stay with us. I think the one thing that's clear is that they're having, they're having fun, but it's in a structured way, isn't it? Yeah, the cards have been designed to um, have a warm-up activity, a game activity and some movement skill development and then go back into the game. So there's a real structure for our beginner coaches to follow to make sure that those sessions are appropriate but also fun. Yeah, I think it's a fantastic concept. I think at this level we obviously have a lot of uh, parents who help the children in terms of coaching. We have a lot of people who, are, who you know, have got busy lives at work most of the day and, and certainly the level one the way it's designed now and the coaching cards to assist everybody uh, make sure that our young children are getting the right sort of development. How does it help the coaches uh, on, uh, in, in their sort of, you know, giving youngsters a, a, a session? Well, quite often, like I said, a lot of these people are, are volunteers and they may not have a background in sport and, and in movement skills and, and rugby league skills, so they're there giving the time up and, and we want to try and help them and assist them the best that we can. So the the cards are designed there to give the, the kids a really good balance session so we get um, you know plenty of skills involved there and games and fun but some movement skills as well and I think the, the combination of that is fantastic. I think probably it's um, beginner coaches have the most difficult job because they're working with new and experienced um, players and also they don't have an awful lot of coaching experience themselves so with that toughest job we really need to give them some more resources to help so a lot of um, the community clubs came back and said is there something that you can do to give the coaches which is some session plans and some activities to do that um, meet the needs of the kids. And the key thing there was making sure that we find those developmentally appropriate activities for kids so that they're engaged, have fun and, and actually enjoy. Uh, what is the structure to the cast? Um, the course itself is a two-day course, it's two times one day, so the coaches come on day one of the course, they get all of the resources, they get the cards, they can go back into the clubs and work alongside the coaches in the clubs using those cards, then come back for the second day where they have another go at things and we assess them um, coaching, just really watch them coaching to see that they're doing that great job following the cards and then they're ready to go. Yeah, yeah, the kids are good, I mean they, uh, they get involved with everything and as long as they're smiling then it makes my job a lot easier. And uh, How helpful have you found the, uh, the, the coaching cards? I don't know if you, have you done it yourself? I, I've not personally done it yet, um, I've got word that we will be doing it as community coaches because just from getting that pack, I mean I received that pack yesterday, I uh, had a quick flick through it um, and the games are all self-explanatory, you can keep them with you as you saw, um, as I was coaching I had it with me and just for if, if you think the drill's getting a bit tiresome or you could change it then everything's there for you so it's less thinking on your feet really. And uh, how did you find the kids responded to, responded to the different sort of activities that were on the cards? Yeah, I mean, these kids that we've just seen, they've done um, rugby now for six weeks. Um, so the drills that they've done today are completely new. And as you could see by the smiles on the faces, they all seem to enjoy it. They all got involved. No one were really complaining. So I think they, uh, they really enjoyed it. And I think it's a good resource to have for any coach. Um, we, um, we, <laughs> we had the tag belts on and like we, were, we had to hold hands and be in the group. And you had to have a run and other people yourself. had to <laughs> take tag your tags off. What did you like about it? Um, um, just just falling. Falling. It was really exciting. Yeah. When you were running around you kept falling. <laughs> <laughs> Do you like my belief? Yeah. Yeah, yeah uh, you know, really contrasting. Obviously we, we were launching an international fixture yesterday and that was a really, really important announcement. But this is as vital, if not more important for the long-term viability of uh, rugby league and sport in our country in general. It's a, um, you know, an area of our game where we, we know we need to make some advancements, we want to get as many children playing the game and enjoying the game at the same time. But I think that there's a real connection in terms of yesterday and today because uh, we need to, to make sure our children are getting the right type of coaching. And I think uh, we all do it, we all look at Super League and uh, you know, all the young coaches throughout the game will be, or all, all the coaches throughout the game, should I say, coaching young children all want to aspire to, to doing what people at Super League level are doing. And sometimes it's not quite appropriate to do that. And we just need to try and keep educating the people. And look, if you can just get your children to learn to, you know, catch, pass, tackle, and run, that'd be a great start in terms of their sporting career. <laughs>